Welcome to Timberborn. And uh, this is my mega dam project. Um, the idea with this dam is for it to last for 30 days through a 30 day drought, producing 2,000 horsepower off peak and 6,000 horsepower during the peak, that peak season. So basically at the moment we're drawing about uh, 1,900 horsepower which is at the end of a 30 day drought, we've got 10 days left to go but we'll probably only last for another couple of days. And uh, yeah, it's a gravity fed dam, it doesn't have any floodgates, it doesn't have any pumps. It just uh, gravity feeds through a section in the back. As you can see here, we've got this little one section in between. We've got an outer wall and an inner wall, and they've got slots in the outer wall. So, anyway, this is how it works. We've got these channels here where the water will flow through the water wheels. And uh, basically, the front's just a facade, but the back is real. The real, real work happens. So we've got these two walls here, separated by space. This front wall here, this is what the water will flow up through and around until the pressure's high enough, and then it will flow over the wall, and it will go through these channels. So this is basically how it is in operation. Flooding now. Floods over that first wall, breaks through the uh, the holes in the other wall, and voila, we have power. So here we have the completed dam. As you can see, the channels we've got in here to allow the water to go into this little channel here so basically the water flows through here along here and down into each channel so it'll go along here down there along there and at the moment I've only got these outer ones going full time this is basically how you control the speed of the dam how much water you use, how fast it draws the water, how much power you've got. So I've got basically these two channels which go pretty much the whole time. And this little channel over here which we'll only do for the, for the first 10 days. And that one will shut off. And then we'll be at reduced power from then on. So basically you could the water does this S, this S pattern, which slows it down. And therefore, you can slow it down further by putting another wall in front of this one and then having an even bigger, longer S. But that also reduces how much power is created. So, currently getting 30 days out of this setup. So, I don't really want to reduce the power any more than it already is currently creating 1800 power once it overflows this wall here that's when we'll be at full max pressure and the engines will speed up to full speed but basically that's how the, the dam works we've got this outer wall which is one step lower than the inner wall and the idea is for this one to flood and give us maximum pressure but because we've only got small inlets here and these inlets are less pressure than the pressure that's coming into it which is all of this pressure it's because that pressure is greater than the holes that I've got here I've only got three holes where there's more water tiles feeding it so therefore it builds up and eventually 
overlap this wall. Let's clean it up so it does that. Bam. That is your dam. So in the current state that it is, we've now got the third, we've got the third one going, but we haven't got this fourth bank going yet. Because they won't go a lot of these inner ones because they won't flow until it overflows over this so we're only at like I said probably half power at the moment quarter power okay here we are on the completed dam bursting out it seems overflowing from those top barriers now getting full water pressure through the engines and power producing 1400 almost 15,000 horsepower so that's pretty damn good unfortunately we're only it for a day this period because I actually raised the whole dam up by one more level which unfortunately because of these 50 day droughts I'm getting I'm losing all my water and it's taking a long time to refill the extra last level so I might actually drop it down one level again don't know but basically here we go full power 1500 15,000 horsepower I also constructed this little power plant over here which is not actually connected to the other one yet but this over here produces oh it is connected actually sorry <laughs> that's where the extra 4,000 is coming from this uh, one over here produces 4,000 disconnect that it's about four, four, five thousand with these and that gives us a good little uh, extra power for when this one's uh, powering down through the drought series period. So at the moment we're actually producing 10,000 which is still well above our goal our peak power. So as you can see here I've only got a very slight fall I sort of uh, I should have built all these engines up one level to create a greater fall because because uh, I do a lot of waterworks to end up creating this channel out here to force all the water out fast enough to keep these wheels going. Because what's happening is water's coming up and flooding all this, and then these waters would these wheels would stop because there wasn't enough flow. So they're not actually running very fast at the moment compared to the other ones because they really should be an extra toll higher and then it'll be getting made and I probably would be getting about 15,000 out of the whole this setup which it still isn't complete still put another two in there and I only got these two extended here not in those two uh, shoots there because these are the last two to flow they're the longest got these two outer ones they stop after 10 days roughly and then these two inner shoots which fill these two runs they go continuously so to get more power out of the last bit I've got these extra boosters on here whereas once the drought really sets in, these shoots will be dry and just be these powering, giving us around 3,000 horsepower, 3,500 horsepower. But that's where this extra power plant kicks in. This is the wood farm over here, feeding all these storage containers under here, which empty, but feed all these power plants which burn wood and uh, they're 400 horsepower each that's quite a beast 
So we plug that one back in. Give you a priority. And we will see how this drains throughout the drought season. See how many days we've got to go. Half a day it starts. Already starting to lose a little bit of power. The water flow is starting to slow down. I've designed this centerpiece here as a bit of a water gauge system. Sort of 10 days roughly. Each gradient step down. Eventually I'll have to start excavating some of this land throughout here, get it all demolished, which will create more capacity. That'll extend my days further. And it might even possibly create another chute that comes out the centre here. And see how that affects things. That could extend. It probably will have minimal effect, but it could extend the lifetime of the, the dam we've got half a day here so basically I've got these gearboxes down here to come off the side to raise all the power up top of this um, canyon whatever you want to call it to provide power for all my machines up here which is uh, digging my dirt, creating my pots steel production, some food production more food production down here timber, gears the rest of my production is over here paper, explosives and your planks more food reduction. All supplying this mega beast. The drought has started. It's a 37 day drought. I'll see how this one goes, eh? Right, so one day in. Already dropped down to 6,000 horsepower. That's just from it not overflowing the top of this anymore. It's just throwing th flowing through this, these single shoots. Still got all the the banks going. Severely reduced horsepower. So again, if I lifted all these engines up, they would still they'd be flowing a lot faster. So that probably will have to be a thing one day. Nonetheless. So we're producing 6,000 in conjunction with the 4,000 over here. Let's disconnect that. So we're producing just under 3,000 this setup at the moment which is still running at I guess what you'd say well it's only yeah quite reduced capacity third it's only gonna go down from here but regardless of that our machines are still working full power 
So that's, uh, that's what we want. Main thing is we're keeping everyone working. We're still producing. And as you can see by these food stores, they've got plenty of food to eat. So that's the idea. Okay, so here we are, 10 days in, day 27. Drop down a few levels. And here we've got 2,500 horsepower. Here we are again, 20 days in. And we've got here. We've got 1500 horsepower now. So we've dropped off quite a bit. It's because the second uh, those out of banks aren't drawing power anymore. Day 30. We made it. And we're still using 1500. It's not too bad. After 30 days, still got power. Things are still working. But we only have a few days left by the looks of it. Here we are. Power starting to drop down now. Down to about 1300. So we've done well. It's 30 days. 30. Just over 30 days. If we uh, excavated a bit more of the uh, ground around here, we've probably extended a few more. Maybe to 35. Yeah, power is dropping off quite significantly now, down to 500, basically, bugger all. Yeah, they're only just creeping along now. That's not too bad. Three days to go. Well, hope you liked me, uh, me damn. Hope you learned something. It was a big bloody project. So yeah, I don't know, what do you do after building a big project like this? Maybe build a big fucking pyramid?